I hope you like it. It's my favorite song to sing lately. And I recorded it in my hotel room, and the housekeeping knocked on the door. Housekeeping. Housekeeping. And I had a little mic set up, and I was recording this song. And I go, oh, come on in. It's okay. And they go, you mind if we clean? And I go, no, go ahead and clean. And I go, I'm just singing the song that I realize I'm in my underwear with a towel on my head. I don't do it. And then I start singing this song that I'm going to sing for you, and they left. Like, after like two minutes of it, they were like, Man, all right, so here's the song. I'm gonna do it for you. This is called The Hand Me Down Dudes. Oh boy. She said the hand me down dudes was a coming in June to fix a washing machine real soon. She said the hand me down dudes was a looking so hot, but the hand me down dudes was a high on pot. The hand-me-down dudes didn't have no direction. The hand-me-down dudes wasn't good at inspection. The livers were black and red and blue. The hand-me-down dudes didn't even have a clue. They rode on a bus wearing dresses and clogs. They ate pork and beans and cold hot dogs. They caused a little ruckus in the back of an alley. A mean old drunk called one of them Sally. They sliced him up like a piece of salami and propped him up like he was origami. <laughs> the hand-me-down dudes didn't have no remorse. Their teeth were filthy as the mouth of a horse. The hand-me-down dudes like to give each other wedgies. They only ate meat and threw out all the veggies. The hand-me-down dudes like huffing gas from a brown paper bag till they fell on the ass. The hand-me-down dudes was creepy and porny. They walked around looking hungry and horny. The hand-me-down dudes couldn't fix a carburetor. They were left too long in the incubator. The people say that granny used to drop them on their heads and made them sleep in old, wet beds. The hand-me-down dudes had tongues made of gristle. They couldn't form a sentence without making a whistle. <laughs> <laughs> they had to spend a lot of time and their noses just picking. They never got sick, they could eat raw chicken. The hand-me-down dudes made crystal meth in a trailer in the desert and they looked like death. They finally showed up to fix a washing machine, but they couldn't even fix it, they're just part of the scene. But she don't mind because she was lonely as a dog, waiting for a master to come home from the fog. <laughs> The hand-me-down dudes all live in a basement, some sleep on the floor, some in a big tent. I heard there was a story in the New York Times with an interactive feature with a map of their crimes. The hand-me-down dudes got a lawyer from the Ozarks, now they're back on the streets and they're hungry as sharks. The hand-me-down dudes are legends in the making. If you got what they want, it's theirs for the taking. The hand-me-down dudes, the hand-me-down dudes, the hand-me-down dudes, the hand-me-down dudes. Oh, <laughs> <laughs>